Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an interesting guitar finishing topic, uh, and that is, do you need sealer or primer to finish your guitar? Now this probably is a topic that would be better suited to, you know, the shop, um, but it's something that we can address better by talking about it than me trying to show it to you, and uh, this location's easier to film in, so we're doing it here. Do you need sealer or primer to finish your guitar? Um, now that could be, a lot of people have asked me this, right? And sometimes they're asking me, do I need a sealer or do I need a primer? And sometimes they're asking me, do I need any of this stuff? And the answer in aggregate is really no, you don't. Um, but it depends on the state that your guitar is in. So if your guitar is already finished, you've got like a factory opaque finish. Uh, do I have anything like that? Kind of, not really. Maybe like this Ibanez up here. You've got something like that. Really all you need to do, it's already sealed, okay? It's already primed. Uh, all you really need to do is sand that smooth so that your new paint will stick. Now I usually do that with 600 grit. Uh, if I'm doing a metallic, I use 800 grit. So you just need to sand that smooth. You've already got the wood sealed up and everything from the prior finish. You don't need to remove all that. And then you can move on with your new paint job. Now that's different than some other types of finishing projects. For example, if we move one over to this ash burl uh, veneer that we've got on the Telecaster here, that's from Solo Guitars, that is a very porous finish, or very porous wood rather. Um, so lots of places for paint to soak in. On that, you're not gonna want a primer per se. Primers are generally, you know, things that go on metal or you get gray primer and stuff like that. But you're probably gonna want a sealer. In fact, you're probably gonna want some kind of clear grain filler, like an epoxy. But anyway, you're gonna want a sealer to try and fill in some of that grain. You don't need it. Your lacquer, for example, if you're using that, will stick without it. But if you want a relatively smooth finish, you're gonna to need to fill in some of that grain first or use an incredible amount of lacquer. And if you, if you put like six, eight cans of lacquer on something, there's a lot of opportunities for a product failure. Sealer seals up the grain more quickly. It's a little thicker. It does a better job of that kind of stuff, and that's kind of what it's for. It also helps set a nice base for the lacquer, but lacquer will stick directly to wood, so it's not absolutely necessary. Now, primers, again, they're a little bit different. We use primers sometimes for opaque finishes, sealer, primer, sometimes those words are used interchangeably. Um, so there's not a whole lot that you need to know about whether it's a sealer or a primer. Really, what you just need to do is stick within the paint system that you're working with. So, for example, the Oxford uh, system, the Oxford Supply lacquers, which are my favorites, have both a clear sealer and a white primer. You can use them both. You can start with the sealer and then move on to the primer to give a nice color base. You can use one, you can use the other, depending on what you're trying to do. Really, primers are classically something that you use on like metal to help paint stick to it because paint in and of itself doesn't stick to metal very well. So there are etching primers, there are all sorts of different things like that. But for the purpose of a guitar paint job, typically you need one or another, or one or the other rather. You know, the language that we use for sealers and primers, usually sealers are clear and primers are not. Not always the case, but that's kind of generally the rule. If you ask me, you can use both. Uh, and yeah, it just depends on the paint system that you're using. If you, again, have something that's already been sealed or primed for a prior paint job, you don't need to do it again. Your paint can stick fine to previous paint as long as it's the same type or compatible. Um, but if you're going straight over raw wood, usually your best bet is to go with a sealer for a clear one or a primer uh, if that's what fits within your system. I hope that helps, guys. I imagine there will be a few questions. I do have at least one prior video on my channel about sealers and primers, I believe. I've also got one uh, about sealers or grain fillers. So let me quickly spoil, spoil the surprise on that. The video is helpful, but in brief, usually grain filler goes first. Uh, some people try to ask me, or some people do ask me rather, if they should do sealer first and then grain filler. I would say no, fill your grain, then seal your grain. But you know, there's more than one way to, to do these things. So that's kind of the general rule as far as I'm concerned. Again, I imagine there will be questions. If there are, please throw them in the comment section below. I am happy to try and answer them. And as you guys have always done, feel free to answer each other's questions. Usually you guys have some great insight. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we will have more soon. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.